there's something that you need to know right now and there's a way to learn it. You know, if you have an original idea, you think it's the only, you're the only guy that ever had that idea? Nonsense. If it's any good, someone else had the idea before you. I have a different theory on what leads to success than the thousands of books that have been written. How to do something in 1950 is different than how to do it now. But the ability to think and to analyze and to respond to opportunity exists regardless of the time. You can enjoy the past. You can learn from the past, but you can't live in it. When I first started my career, my brother and I decided we wanted to be in international business. Why? Because at the end of World War II, the whole world had opened up. I had a lunch with the president of Sony. He said, you, you Americans come over, you want to make a deal. We Japanese want to establish a relationship so that we can make a lot of deals. In 1988, President Ronald Reagan found me, and he asked if I would join a group of American entrepreneurs to go to Japan on a presidential trade mission to find the best way to sell American merchandise in Japan. I was a Democrat. So, have I taken advantage of every opportunity? My God, of course I haven't. Uh, did I think I did? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> The stories about Jack's journey and the tips he offers will help today's entrepreneurs grow and succeed. The philosophy that's perpetual, unending, is deal with people honestly, understand who they are and what their goals are, and if you want to motivate them, make it in their own self-interest. To learn more about the evolution of an entrepreneur, visit jacknadell.com. It's invaluable information at a price everyone can afford.